Hey guys, it's Tunzo, and um, this video is going to be really crappy recorded. Mostly because um, I can't find a, another good um, recording thing on here without being scared. I'm going to find some virus or something because this is my mom's laptop and I don't want to harm it. So, yeah. That's fun. So I can, until I can find something good to record with on here that doesn't use a free trial, um, or um, cost money, which might not ever happen. Um, I'm using my phone or my laptop or whatever I can use. Um, so sorry that this is um, really crappy recording. I'm actually gonna turn up the volume. But, um, yes, today we are going to be playing The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Um, this is my favorite video game. This was the very first Zelda game that I have played. Um, and actually, I think the very first video game I've ever played in my entire life. Um, because my mom has had an, um, an N64 and she had Ocarina of Time. So, um, she let me play it, and I fell in love with Ocarina of Time as well as Majora's Mask as well. So, um, yeah. This is gonna be fun. Um, cause I never done a Let's Play on my channel. So, well, I've done gaming videos and I've attempted to do some Let's Plays, but they all kind of failed. So, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> so let's get started. Wait. And that was one of my randomizers. Whatever. Um, this one was on the, um, Japan version, because I have a Japan file, so that one was a, um, practice file for me. I got up to the water temple on that. So let's type in the name. And let's begin. I'm not going to bother reading too much of the text, especially like this, because I'm not going to bother reading too much of the text. You guys can see it on the screen. And if you want to pause, then you can. And um, Link, I'm using Project N64, so the game is a little, um, it's a little, it, so there are a few bugs when being Link was float was not on his bed. Um, now it's the camera angles fixed, but I'm gonna try my best to get keep the um and harness as as possible because I know the recording absolutely sucks I mean, right now we have this fabulous cutscene with Navi's points of view. Hello. Hopefully by the time, like, I'll ask my mom if she can find something so I can, fi so I can actually record from the screen. 
no, like screen record and not have to do with my phone. So, um, hopefully by part two of this, I'm, or maybe, or part three or whatever, I'm not using my phone. So yeah, you're gonna have to do it with this until I can find something. I, again, apologize. Hello, Link, wake up. The great ticket tree wants to talk to you. Link, get up. <laughs> can I roll this? This me really to find that I'm such a lazy boy. In comes yet that. So now we're actually playing. So when you first get up at Link's house and you start controlling your at this in this point of view for Link's house, no, the entire game is not going to be like. See, I'm putting. Okay, glitch. Frick. Okay, this. I'm using Project 64 for this emulator, so, and also if you press, I'm using an N64 controller, so if you press the top arrow, it, you'll end up to the point of view, which, whenever you link, enter Link's house, or any house at that, you'll end up in this point of view, so, um, I find that kind of nifty whenever you do that. So, let's enter the Kinkiri Forest and see what they have for us here. You, hi Link. All right, so Link has a cute little treehouse, and also this cute little drawing on it, which I, oh, I, I guess this like foreshadow. I'm not exactly sure, but I think this foreshadows something later on. I'm not gonna say what for those who are using my um, video, like my series as a um, help help guide if you're just playing this for the first time, but I think it is foreshadowing something. So let's talk to this girl over here. Wow, a fairy? Finally, a fairy came to you, Link. Wow, oh, that's great news. I'm so happy for you. Now you're your true Kukiri, Link. S is that right? The, the, um, the Great Deku Tree has summoned you? It's quite an honor to talk to the Great Deku Tree. I'll wait for you here. Get going. Go see the Great Deku Tree. So, we can do that. And Abby will basically bug us about going to the Deku Tree. So there's one problem. Um, we, this is where the Deku Tree is, right here. But this boy will not let us pass. If we talk to him, he won't let us pass. Um, he'll basically say that we're not allowed to enter without a sword or shield. Um, I'm not gonna bother speaking to him because I don't know how much space I might have on my phone. I want to at least get, um this portion of the story out of the way. Um, so how are you gonna get a sword and a shield in just a cramped up space? Um, first, and obviously I just um, jumped on those rocks right there um, and we got five rupees. So that's obviously our currency in this game, just like every Zelda game. Um, so well, you can also enter or, uh, Mido's house, which is the guy who's blocking us from seeing Deku Tree. And there's a bunch of chests. Open them, and we'll get a bunch of rupees. You'll see why I'm stocking up on a bunch of rupees in a minute, because obviously we need to buy a shield from the shop. I think that last chest right here has a recovery heart. As you can see, we have three hearts on the top corner. Um, I know, before we go get the, um, pick up a shield from the store, let's go through this little hole that's right here. Whoa, what is that rolling? Um, 
it's a boulder. <laughs> You'll come across many more boulders in the game. They are annoying. I hate them. They are... They will take away damage, so... Your, um, health, so, uh... Yeah. Be careful not to get run over by that when you're trying to get through this little... Corner. Now look, our first chest. What is... What could possibly be in this chest? I wonder what it could possibly be. We got our first weapon, the Kukiri Sword. <laughs> so we equip it to B. Or A, or whatever. We equip it to B. Alright. I am trying to. Rem Alright, so, um. I might as well just go over the little, um, select item thing. So. Whenever we click the normal light, like a random item, we'll, it'll be equipped to this screen or any other weapons. I'm recording. And yeah, I'm getting interrupted by my mom. <laughs> Over here is our other random equipment, like our, so our, our swords. Um, that middle thing will be our shields, our tunics, and our boots. And this is our, um, quest status. We- this is, um, heart containers, and you see a bunch of song notes right here, and a song staff at the bottom. Um, there's a few other random things here, and here we have this thing, and this bottom thing right here. Um, I don't even know what to call it, but... Um, these will basically indicate what you have collected over your quests and to indicate that you've completed a certain thing or collected a certain amount of items. Um, and this is the map of, um, wherever, uh, we have ventured from. So, right now the only place that we've really been is the Kokiri Forest, so that's obviously, um, and if you press B on there you'll, um, end up saving. In Majora's Mask, you did not have that. You do not have that in Majora's Mask. You either have to play a song on your ocarina. I'm not gonna say what because it'll because it's in this game as well, and you're going we will be learning this later. Or they have little owl statues, which obviously in the Japan Majora's Mask, they do not have that, but in the I'm just basing this off of the um of the English version. But um there's owl statues that, um, you can save at. So yeah, you cannot press B and save like I just did there. Which sucks. Because obviously whenever I go into that pause menu from Majora's Mask, I'm obviously used to the Ocarina of Time saving, and I forget like, oh crap, I cannot save like that. So, this girl I do not care about, she, I've played Ocarina of Time a bunch of times, I know how to get around. So this is the Kukiri shop. Actually, right back here. Whoa. Did I just go through the... Oh. I went through the... Okay, so Project 64 is obviously um, glitching out for me. <laughs> so that's by the take a shield for your rupees. Um, it really didn't glitch out like this to this extent when I play a randomizer. So yeah, we got a shield, it's wood, so you it will burn. Um, pretty easy. So we want to be careful not to have it caught on fire. Now that we have collected both a shield and a sword, let's go talk to Mido over here. If you want to see the, the Great Deacon Tree, you should at least equip a sword and a shield. Eh, what's that? Oh, you have a dagger shield. And what's that? Is that the Kokiri sword? Good grief! Well, even with all that stuff, a wimp is still a wimp, huh? I think right, Mido will never accept, accept you as one of us. Shoot, how did you get to be the favorite of Saria and the Great Deacon Tree? So, he mentioned Saria. That's the girl that um, we were introduced to at the beginning. That's obviously Link's best friend. And probably his only real friends because, um, just a little bit of, um, backstory. Link was obviously bullied a lot when he was younger, and oh my god, this- Hold up, I'll be back in one sec, guys. <laughs> 
Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> the screen actually just tinted a little bit darker, and that indicate. Well, hold up. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> um, the laptop was telling me that it was about to. That was starting to get low on battery. No, look, our first item, a stick. <laughs> we literally collect a stick as our first um C item. So we can only cure up to 10 as of now. Um, these will be extremely helpful. We do want to collect these by killing these enemies right here. So, um, you can either equip um, these three C buttons that we have. So that's always, always good to have. So, great to get tree in back. I'll clear up my screen, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll figure out how to get the recording to not be so crappy someday. I'm sorry. <laughs> Link, welcome. Listen carefully to an either Great Daker Tree I'm about to tell you. Blah, blah, blah. So, the Great Daker Tree is basically telling us that he is cursed and he needs us to be able to break this curse. So, yeah. So, here, he ends up opening his mouth and once, and we will enter. We are inside of the Great Deku Tree. So, in the next part of this, I will actually start... Um, taking on this, which I will actually probably publish right after this. So, um, I'm gonna try and get a bunch of parts done in today as I am recording this. So, yeah. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.